let us begin. <sighs> Finding a seat. I'm sitting at my desk today. I just felt like I felt like I didn't want to get out of my chair today. Although I did just take a nice long walk and it was very chilly, but it's beautiful. So please, if you can, take a walk, get outside. It's important. It's important for your health, the skin, the vitamin D is good for you. And you can make it a mindful walk. What I love about my walks is that I see, I, I like to take sometimes same roots over and over again because I like to see how they change over time. I like to see how the leaves change through the seasons and the different times of day you know, and the lights are coming on versus when, you know, it's just sunny out. And uh, there's just something beautiful about, about noticing the differences in all the sameness. Anyway, that's just my thought after my walk today. Um, when we come to settle, let's, let's just be with each other today. Let's just be in that space. So finding like your comfortable seat arriving here Maybe closing your eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. And listen, listen to the room. I've got like a, a little heater blowing today and a little bit from my humidifier I can hear. What do you hear? You really listen. not even about the breath at this point. It's about just putting your focus on hearing. When you concentrate on hearing, do you notice, you know, does your thoughts, do your thoughts stop for a moment when you put that much focus on listening? You know, like they've been caught. Like, oh, praise, they can't, they can see it. Notice. Can you discern the differences in the sounds? Or is it all one wash of sound to you? Or can you do both? Honor the oneness of all the mesh of sounds while still discerning some of the subtleties between the sounds. How many different sounds can you discern? And how does you know, focusing on just one sense like that, the hearing, how does that make you feel? Does that make you feel like annoyed because you're trying to fight with like the hearing? Does it relax you? Does it bring a peace or a calmness to you? Either one of those things is not right or wrong. It's just something to notice. So a little more time maybe tuning in and while you're listening, noticing how you feel while you do that. Breathe. Just tuning in and listening right now, just listening to the room. Feeling your emotional state around the process of trying to focus on hearing. Noticing if the body relaxes or kind of tightens up as you bring yourself to a state of alertness. Can you soften while you're being alert in full attention? Can you soften? And we can do that by using the breath, perhaps elongating the breath.
drawing the attention, it's almost to the space between the ears, sort of where the sound on both of, from both of your ears arrives. It's not unlike the third eye, but maybe a little lower. Just breathing, focusing on that space, listening, and with the breath in and out, surrendering the muscles, the bones, facial muscles. Listen. By focusing on one sense, do you notice kind of peripherally like the energy around you? It's like as if your other senses actually in some ways start to heighten, even though you're focusing on just the one. So you're maybe 80% focused on your hearing, but probably anywhere from 10 to 20% of your attention begins to notice how what you're hearing is affecting the rest of you. So use that. Notice what the sound does to you as it enters the ears, as it filters into your body. In that sense, we're making our whole being into an ear. Breathe nice, long, deep, slow breaths. Your awareness that's in the kind of 20% range, noticing how the body feels, if it's holding tension. Noticing any thoughts that are coming in. Do they, those thoughts sound like something? Are they like words? Is there a voice in those words that has a sound? Or is it just like ideas popping into your mind? Again, who knows this? Who hears? Who is aware? It's a beautiful time to marvel and witness the orchestra that surrounds you, that permeates your mind. Not that everything you hear is going to be what you want to hear. Not that everything that's coming at you is necessarily in your best interest, but we can make it our best interest. If we can learn to watch it with an open heart, forgive and accept and love ourselves even in this place. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes here of silence to listen to your whole being and breathe.
Mm -hmm. We honor ourselves when we pause, when we stop and we listen. That's what we mean when they say stop and smell the roses. Take a moment and with all of your senses, allow yourself to actually receive in stillness with open hands and an open heart what is being presented to you. How often do we run in every direction, taking in multiple like avenues, stimulus. Kind of, it becomes a big white noise. Even the things we read on our phones and stuff just become a constant state of input with no, you know, ever letting it really land anywhere. This is how we let it land. Taking a moment now just to feel the body from the bottom up, starting with the, the legs. Breathing there, feeling it, paying attention. Feeling the hips, pelvic floor, the seat, the low belly. Adding to your awareness from those legs, moving up, building the tummy, the low back, the side body. Just the, the very use of your awareness alivening the body, right? the chest, the upper back, the heart, the lungs, the shoulders and the arms. That's how powerful you are. By just resting your awareness, your attention on something, it comes to life, it exists, it stands apart, it stands out. Nothing that you don't pay attention to exists because you're not giving it a place from which to stand. So where you put your attention is what will exist for you. So the neck, the jaw, the throat, the ears, the cheeks, the eyes, forehead, the top of the head, the whole body. What do you want? to celebrate in your life? What do you want to exist for you? It's where you put your attention. Where you put your attention is what is going to show up for you. Hear that and realize how important you are, how powerful you are. That is your greatest gift. For every moment you spend dwelling on that which fights you and beats you up, you give it power. And for every moment you honor the path you've taken to this point with an open heart and forgiveness and then move to focusing on something much more beautiful, divine, never ignoring or pretending that we're not healing the things that we've carried to this point, but as we drop them, making that space available in our minds and our hearts to something more beautiful. That is your beautiful work. That is your greatest work. And with that, I invite you to begin to return to the space, let go and opening your eyes slowly, slowly. And maybe grounding yourself, your hands, give yourself a hug. I'm going to give myself a hug today. I'm going to give myself a big hug today. And I wish I could hug all of you today. Just give you all a big, giant hug. And I'm very grateful for all of you. And I'm very grateful for this time we've gotten to spend together. Tomorrow is our last day of the series. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.